referee making sure that Harris stays over the other side of the ring. Now Steele finally back. A flyer, a flyer, headbutt. And a nice follow-up forearm smash. And the drop kick, that's the one. Still trying a posting now. I like those follow-ups of Steele. That's a beautiful drop over the top. And cross price and he's got it. Beautifully done. Well done, Ray Steele, and the whole crowd here on their feet. Standing ovation for Ray Steele at getting the first ball over this enormous boy from Mississippi. Ladies and gentlemen, round three, the first ball to Ray Steele. Yes, great deal of applause. Complaints from uh, Harris to Mola, but... Uh, it was a perfectly good fall. He's got nothing to complain about at all. It was a perfectly good cross price of play. Five rounds to go. Sexually, round four. And Steele can't wait to continue where he left off. Steele leading by one fall to nil now. Doing his best to follow up that score. Throwing the referee around now, Steele, and his eagerness to get at the man. And the butt is stopping for the moment. Not legal. Well. Punch or not a punch. Harris says he was the cut of the hand, and again, everybody at that side of the ring says punch. And so does Joe Dorazio, the referee. So public warning number two in round four for Big Jim Harris, the Mississippi Mora. In fact, at this moment in time, Ray Steele for Wakefield is doing most of the mauling. Doing very well indeed. But he's got to keep it up for another four rounds after this one. Again, that backhammer from the top, using his height. You're doing a great job standing in between them. Just a minute to go, fourth. Left it too long there. Top. This time, Joe Dorazio getting right round there to make sure he doesn't land that punch in the stomach. He's trying to position him so he can. Again, Dorazio not sure enough to disqualify him. He's had his last public warning. Five seconds to go. I expect you remember this big man at the Wembley Arena in June on, on television taking on uh, Wayne Bridges for the vacant world title a leading contender from America and a leading contender from over here Wayne Bridges Bridges won it and has now got that title and you'll be seeing him next Saturday afternoon Round five, four rounds to go, and still Ray Steele leading one fall to nil.
over this big man from America who has two public warnings against him. And it's liable to get disqualified at any second. If Joe Dorazio's patience runs out, he'll get sent back to the dressing room. And so many public warnings now. That's what the crowd think of it. The slow hand clap. Why doesn't the referee disqualify him? Well, naturally, the referee has got to give him every chance to understand the rules over here. He's new in the UK. It's his first visit. That back elbow to the deck at all. Steel side set it nicely. Then he's lifting, he's lifting steel, lifting the crotch. Oh, he couldn't make it. He tried the crotch hold and lift, but he couldn't make it. The cross press has got him. Oh. So there's the equalizing fall to Mississippi Mauler in just over a minute of round five. One each now. quite happy at the equalizing fall but I don't think his opponent's too happy on the deck now being cared for and then, um, unfortunately the referee has had to stop the contest Ray Steele has injured his wrist yes, so I'm the, winner, that. the Mississippi the crutch hole lifting the big man He got the one fall first anyway, Steele, but a technical knockout beats him right at the end of round five.